What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. This uh, particular story was sent to me on Twitter. Shout out to the, uh, the person that sent it to me. And it's of MLB player Albert Pujols and his wife of 22 years divorcing each other. Now, they have been together for quite some time. As a matter of fact, when they met, she had already had a child from a previous relationship. But they met, and I believe sometime after that, they got married and started a family together. Now, one thing about Albert Pujols, I watched baseball avidly for years after about 2005. And I watched it for a good amount of time after that. Haven't really watched too much over the last couple of years. But he was one of the best hitters I had seen. And of course, you know, he was hyped up because at the time, uh, Barry Bonds was still playing. They needed a good guy because he was considered the villain. Albert Pujols was put in the he's different than Bonds category. So he got a ton of media hype. But he was still a good hitter, all right? But they also did features on him about him being a family man and how him and his wife started an organization for, you know, say her daughter, but, you know, who has Down syndrome. And they have this, seemed like a really good bond. They had children with each other. But she got some criticism because she posted about this season coming up being his last season. And she ended up having to edit that particular Instagram post that caused that stir. Now, people are talking about the timing of Albert Pujols getting this divorce. I believe wholeheartedly that Albert Pujols was intending on divorcing his wife at the start of the baseball season coming up. And according to his own wife, she held off on getting the brain surgery because that's what people are upset about is the fact that, you know, he's divorcing her while she's getting this brain surgery, this tumor. I believe he had already always planned to divorce her right before the season because he wants to go into the season basically freed from his marriage. And for some reason, his wife waited until the start of the season to get the surgery. So that that has that's one of the questions I have is that I don't think that Albert wanted this to look like he was trying to be insensitive because that's what the sentiment is on social media with some people. They actually believe that he is being insensitive towards his wife like why are you divorcing her? She's in the hospital. Well, I think Albert had always planned to do this. I think him and his wife may have always been planning to separate. They were talking about how she wasn't posting him very much on her page, on her Instagram page. And that marriage had pretty much probably already had been done for months. And at the start of considering his last season in baseball, he wanted to just get this off his, you know, chest and just go into the season and just have fun with it. He's going, you know, his, his farewell, farewell, a farewell tour, basically. And people are making it seem like he was just out there to embarrass his wife. Now, let's get into this article from Clutch Points. Our pools files for divorce right after wife gets brain tumor. I, I don't believe that. I think he had already done that, but let's go. Things are going well in St. Louis. The Cardinals have reunited Albert Pujols and Yadier Molina and Adam Wainwright. That was the duo back in the mid 2000s that really boosted the Arizona, not Arizona, the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Fun team to watch, and the team seems primed for a postseason run in 2022. However, things are not going well in the Pujols household. Pujol, Pujol, uh, Albert Pujols is reportedly filing for divorce. Just days after his wife had a brain tumor removed, per Bob Nightingale. 
And this is the statement here. And this is according to Bob Nightingale. So I've been asked a lot of questions over the past few days regarding what's been going on at home. And sadly, after 22 years of marriage, I have made the decision to file for divorce from my wife, Deidre. I realize this is not the most optimum time with opening day approaching and other family events that have recently taken place. These decisions are not are never easy and it isn't something that just happened overnight so people are trying to make it seem like it did but no i think he was intending on divorcing her right before the start of the season it just so happens his wife decided to have surgery right before the season as a devout christian this is an up this is an outcome that i never wanted to see happen for many long days and nights i prayed asking the lord for his guidance I am thankful for the five beautiful children that we brought into this world and remain committed to raising them in a loving and safe environment. I ask that you please respect our privacy and the privacy of our five children during this time. And that was his statement there. Uh, the reasoning for the divorce is unclear. But Pujols is correct in saying that this announcement did not come at an optimum time. Opening day is just a few days away, and his wife's health is of obvious concern. But in the end, this is his decision, and his privacy should be respected. Pujols made his re-debut for the Cardinals on March 31st after signing with the team. On the same day, Pujols' wife, Deidre, was getting a tumor removed. Pujols commenting on his wife's surgery, but at any time you open your scalp and your head, you're always concerned about it. You trust the doctor that they have that wisdom and that gift. As much as we take swings in the cage, they do surgery. Following a successful surgery seems as if all is well, but the shocking divorce announcement came Monday. And let's get to some of these reactions. This is according to Total Pro Sports. That's where I'm getting these tweets from. Albert Pujols serving his wife with divorce papers while she's in a hospital bed recovering from brain surgery was not on my 2022 bingo card. Do people really think Pujols decided to file after Deidre's surgery? They've more than likely talked about this extensively the timing of this is being released is horrendous, but stop writing Pujols off as a piece of blank when nobody knows the details. Yeah, listen, these divorces don't happen overnight unless somebody's leaving you <laughs> for somebody else. They you know, this and they feel like they have to make an abrupt decision. You know what I'm saying? When you see a person like leave somebody, like it seemed like out the blue. It's usually because they already got somebody waiting. I don't know if that's the case here. I'm not saying that it is. But I just think that Pujols had always planned on doing that before the season because he wants to go into the season a single man. He wants to enjoy his last season playing baseball. That's what it seemed like to me. These two could have already have been separated for months. The thing is, is that his wife didn't have surgery until right before the season. But I always think that he wanted to go into seat this season and enjoy it and be a single guy because throughout most of his career, he had been married. So he had not been able to enjoy being a baseball player as a single man. And I think he made the choice to announce the divorce because I'm pretty sure the filings have already had been already started. It just so happens his wife decided to have surgery right before the start of the season. That's just from my opinion. I'm not saying that's what he did, but just looking at it, that's just my opinion. Pujols' wife get, uh, gets brain surgery last week, and then he divorces her. Yikes. Imagine thinking Pujols filed for divorce because his wife had surgery. I'm sure it was a decision Years in the making. Yeah, effing idiot. Uh, as heartbreaking as it is for the Pujols divorce, his wife hasn't had a picture on her account of him 
even before the surgery. Something in the home hasn't been right and not our place to speculate. Just accept it, pray for them, and move on with your day. Don't gossip. What do you even say about the Pujols, divor Pujols divorcing his wife after brain surgery? Or do you even really need to say anything? This all feels so strange. Albert Pujols did nothing wrong. He doesn't need to stay with her just because she had surgery. Divorce doesn't happen overnight. I agree with that. That's why the timing of the surgery, you know, you have to look at. And because I think, once again, he had, I think he had always planned on making this known. It just so happens that it was at the same time his wife is getting surgery. Or now ex-wife. Is Pujols trying to get ahead of something? Like, what's the scenario where announcing a divorce days after your wife and mother of your five kids has brain surgery is the PR play? Our Pujols find out his wife's surgery was successful. Pujols ditching his wife right after they announced she got brain surgery for a deadly tumor is nuts. Well, I mean, people are people are going to speculate. People are going to make assumptions. I'm going to assume that this was not something that he did because he didn't want to be with his wife anymore out of the blue. And he said, you know what? Let me. Oh, she's going to have surgery this day. Well, let me go ahead and release the information about me divorcing her. I don't I don't I don't think that she's doing that. I, I just think that people are jumping to conclusions because it's a man divorcing his wife. His wife could have not been having surgery and they still would feel some type of way about him filing for divorce. They'd probably say, oh, but she's a good woman. She had your five children. How can you leave her? That's what they would say, even if she wasn't getting a divorce. I think the optics of a man leaving his wife while he's still playing is what bothers them. Because I believe Albert Pujols is going to be making $30 million this year from his uh, uh, his loss, uh, his his. Um, his Los Angeles Angels contract. And because he's still going, he, he's going to be making a lot of money and he's going to be a single guy and he's divorcing his wife that, that is upsetting uh, some people. But I think some people need to get over it and understand that, you know, things happen. Things happen. And women have divorced men who are in bad shape and nobody seems to care. They're like, oh, well, she, well, she felt she had to go. And, you know, they make all these excuses. They make all these excuses when, when women leave their husbands high and dry. But in this situation, I think he had always planned on making that move. I don't think Albert did this to spite his wife. I think he had always planned to divorce his wife at the start of the season. It just so happened that she decided to have surgery at the start of the season because, according to her, she had put off surgery for so long. So let me know what's in the comment section. Well, let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you all next one.